So for this breakdown, I want to look at three sets the Pistons ran last year and where Cade Cunningham could fit into it. One, let's go here. Let's say he's playing off the ball. So the first scenario is, let's say this is Killian. He passes to Cade, and now you're using Cade's skill sets as, as this action happens because he's such a great passer. He could, right here, there's some, some room for him to attack, excuse me, one-on-one -on -one if he wants, but what I really like is reading this action here. Nothing against Sadiq Bey, none of this is a knock on any of these guys, but just highlighting where Cade would be effective in sets that the Pistons are already running. This is an action on this play, there's not a read, but what if Mark Gasol helps much? Over too much. What if Plumlee slips this? This is an action you have to read here, this little pin down, this little two-man game, and who better than Cade Cunningham? So you see off the ball where he could be effective in that set. And then how about putting him in Jeremy Grant's position? So now you have Cade Cunningham running off a screen, a staggered along the baseline, two screens, and then you know what you get instead of, sorry, instead of Sekou standing in the corner over here? This is Cade Cunningham turning the corner downhill, and now you have Jeremy Grant right here in this weak side corner. You see LeBron James is staring at the action on the strong side. Well, if this is Jeremy Grant, that's a, a kick for a wide open catch and shoot three. Maybe Jeremy Grant runs to the rim. Or you could even put Jeremy Grant here as the screener and you get this kind of screen and roll action. Okay, so there's all sorts of situations. Jeremy Grant runs that fine. So again, that's not a knock on anybody that did it last year. Just trying to showcase where Cade Cunningham may be utilized in some of these sets. This may be the set you see the most, this staggered action on, on the weak side. So again, if he's on the ball, he has some room here to attack. If he's off the ball, he could be any one of these spots, guys. He could be Sadiq Bey going back door, or where I think you're going to see him is Jeremy Grant. Okay, Bey goes back door, so there's Grant popping off of it. He's going to catch and shoot this one. So that's something you get for Cade Cunningham. He's a 40% three-point shooter. As we look at the same set, what this is where I really like it. So he comes off of this. And now this is Cade Cunningham running ball screen. Again, guys, off the ball. There's so much worry. Like, how much is he going to get the ball if he's playing off the ball? I think he's going to get a lot of the situations Jeremy Grant got last year. So here he gets the ball screen and can utilize it. And what's even better is since Jeremy Grant's not involved in the action here, he can be here, and instead of coming in and taking up space, he can be on the weak side ready to catch and shoot. So you have Jeremy Grant and Sadiq Bey on the weak side. Or how about this? What if you take Isaiah Stewart and put him over here because he can catch and shoot and, and hold his defender? Let's put Cade Cunningham here and Jeremy Grant in Isaiah Stewart's spot. And now we have a little ball screen action with Cade and Jeremy Grant. Or even switch it, Jeremy with the ball and Cade Cunningham setting the screen. Just so many different things you can do out of these actions we saw last year. And then one final one, a set they ran a lot again. Okay, Again, if he has the ball, he could attack weak side here right off the bat. But if not, I think you're going to see him in the position Jeremy Grant's in, catch, and now I can attack. And what's great about it is now when he attacks, it's not going to be Josh Jackson out here. This would be Jeremy Grant or Sadiq Bey, you know, the two of those guys in the corner so he has somebody to kick to. Or if we do this and Jeremy Grant attacks, this is Cade Cunningham who can catch, knock down at 40%, or attack a closeout. I just think there's so many things. And Jeremy Grant finishes this. So again, not a knock on the guys that did it last year, just wanting to highlight the situations in the set plays that Dwayne Casey and his staff utilized last season.